What's going on guys? Tony Maritato here, physical therapist. So I wanna share with you my five reasons you should start a mobile practice, whether you're a PT, OT, SLP, before the end of 2020. Whether you're gonna keep your full-time job, whether this is gonna be a side gig, part-time gig, or transition gig into your full-time thing, this is really why I think you should. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a mobile therapist. I've done mobile therapy. I'm a brick and mortar practice owner, but if I was talking to, to somebody who had any inclination to do it, right now is absolutely the time to do it. So reason number one, get the vulnerable population out of the busy clinics. Like, I feel guilty, my geriatric patients are coming into my clinic, I'm following all the guidelines, I'm keeping the distance, I'm doing everything we need to do, but if I had a mobile therapist that you could see my patients, if I could refer out to you, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And I'm telling you, now is the best time that I've ever seen because other clinics, larger corporate clinics, are not scheduling with the same kind of volume that they used to schedule. So where they were seeing three, four an hour per therapist, now they're down to one or two, you have a huge opportunity to capitalize on this. Take the geriatric populations, take them out of the clinic, treat them in their home, treat them in their backyards. It's a beautiful fall night right now. That's reason number one. Reason number two, job security. If we learn nothing else in March of 2020, we learn that the misconception that a large employer has deep pockets and will keep you employed is just that, a misconception. I love my team, I love my staff. I was the only person that didn't get fired in March of 2020 because I'm the owner. I can't fire myself, right? So if you want true job security, you have to be the employer. You have to be the one that employs yourself, employs your team, employs others. But job security is the absolute top reason right now during the pandemic that you should be looking at your own mobile practice. Now, reason number three, financial security. There is no question you can operate a more lean and efficient operation than anybody who employs you. My staff could go out and treat patients for a lower cost basis than I can have them treat patients because they don't have the overhead, they don't have the expenses, the history, the liabilities, all of that stuff. So if you want true financial freedom, if you haven't read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, go read the book. It's like 200 pages or something, super easy. But the idea is that as the W-2 employee, you get paid last. Everybody else takes their piece of the pie, you get what's left over. As the independent contractor, as the self-employed, as the business owner, you can determine where that money goes. And I'm telling you right now, I'd rather earn 100 to pay $100 a month toward my cell phone bill than have to earn 130 to pay 100 because that's all that's left over. So financial security, job security, get the vulnerable population out of the clinic. Number four, you create the company culture. Whether you're a company one of one or a company of a thousand, doesn't matter. I am a different therapist. I'm a different human than I was five years ago. And five years ago, I was different than I was five years before that. There is nothing worse than being a square peg in a round hole at a different organization. If it's your business, whether you're the only employee or you're one of 100 employees, you establish co company culture, you determine what's important, you are the one in control. I don't think we get burnt out because of volume. I think we get burnt out because we don't have control. So you establish company culture. And then finally, so we've got four reasons so far. The fifth reason is the fact that you are a professional. We are a profession of professionals. If you're an employee somewhere, you're just never gonna have full autonomy. You're always gonna be under the thumb of somebody else. And so if you truly want to provide the patient experience that you went to school to learn how to provide, if you want to provide the patient experience that you spent five years, seven years, 
hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn, you have to do it for yourself. You know, just like I said, I was a different therapist 5, 10, 15 years ago. My treatment style has changed. What I want to treat has changed. You know, there was a time in my career where all I wanted to do is treat patients who had fibromyalgia, who were dealing with persistent pain and chronic fatigue. There was another time in my career where all I wanted to do is treat high school athletes, football, baseball, soccer. Um, this is a time in my career where I want to focus on post-surgical knee replacements. So if you're not the boss, you can't control the patient care experience. I want to feel good going into a new patient evaluation and doing one unit of care if I want or four units of care if I want. I want to feel good about taking a person for a one or two session a month plan of care or a 12 session a month plan of care. I want that freedom and that independence and I earned the right to do that because I put the money and the time into doing it. So there are amazing employment opportunities. I'm not knocking the employers. I am the employer. I am the practice owner. But Kara from the Occupational Therapy um, Entrepreneur Group kind of put out there, what are the five reasons to start a mobile practice before the end of 2020? Those are my five. I'd love to hear what yours are. Even if you give me one, let me hear what it is. Post it in the YouTube comments. Like the video if you would. It goes a long way in helping me grow this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, let me know what you're doing. The end of 2020 is closer than I realize. It's, it's getting to be that time, crunch time, before we figure out what we do in 2021. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.